Well, hello there. Welcome to yet another update from South by Southwest. I'm Mark Rizzin Hopkins, and with me is Cesar Horse. Yep. You're with the Conjunctor Co-working Party. Right. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, we're the locals here who are running around with the uh, with the Nerf guns. Yeah. yeah. I saw some uh, Nerf pellets or Nerf darts up there <laughs> on the. Man, I, I'm serious. Like I'm just telling everyone, I think that uh, the security is gonna be really pissed at us for leaving all the darts everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's been really fun. But yeah, that's that assassin game, right? Right, right, yeah. So uh, so we, uh, we were at brunch the Sunday before, before South by the other day, and we were like, you know, we should all play assassins. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were like, Sh- how should we play it? Should we just play like normal old school style, the way everyone plays in college, or uh, should we do an iPhone app? Um, it ended up that we just, you know, what we could do quickly in two days was uh, code a Twitter bot. Mm-hmm. So uh, Andrew McCollum just like sat down for a couple afternoons and, and like knocked it out. So, <laughs> yeah. Cool. So explain the mechanics because I remember uh, I think Caroline McCarthy wrote she was very murky on the details. Yeah, yeah. Of that word. Okay. So so essentially, um, just kind of the game as a whole is everyone has a target that's in the pool that's in the game. Yeah. Um, so you try to just kill your target, um, and last man standing kind of wins. Um, we had to change the rules a little bit because we wanted it to last. Well, we wanted it to last throughout the conference. Uh-huh. Um, and of course we needed that extra element of uh, managing everything over Twitter. So um, so the Twitter bot doles out everyone's targets and then when you kill someone you just, there's a there's a list of commands yeah. that you can go in and uh, and see and, uh, and send the bot um, so for instance when I make a kill I send D space ASSN which is the name of the account um, and then space kill and then it knows that, that I've just you know killed my person and then it'll send me the new person it'll DM me the, ne- the next person that I have that's all awesome. kill yeah. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. of fun yeah, yeah definitely so cool. uh, and a kill just is constituted by you know just shooting someone with the uh, with the nerf gun Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really fun. Um, but the only and the only concession that we made was that people can't be shot while they're on panels. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a couple of yeah, a couple of us have some panels. Yeah. So yeah. it's like we don't want to disrupt like you know the concentration. But right. I, I still think that that, that should have been allowed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that, that <laughs> were like bonus points, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like hundred bonus points. Right. <laughs> Talk about it. You had made a media splash. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. We were... Um, You're already doing that. Yeah, exactly. ZikiNet wrote about it. And everyone's just kind of like... You know, they see that you're carrying around this, like, plastic gun. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, <laughs> playing this game, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the last time I checked a couple of days ago... So it started out with, like, the 12, 15 of us. Um, last time I checked, like, two days ago, it was up to, like, 100 people. Yeah. Um, we got, like, so much interest that we started, like, concurrent games. Um, so then we're, like, two or three games now. But yeah. I think it might end up being, like, a tradition over, uh, yeah. no, over, the, over the conference. I, I, I wish I had known ahead of time. I've got, my kids got an arsenal of yeah. guns. Yeah. So I could have been, no, I could have been prepared. prepared. Yeah, what we had to do is everyone had to run out at, like, after the uh, after the Lapping Squid party at the Ginger Man, one of the first nights, and we all like made a trip down to uh, to Walmart. So I tweeted, that was my tweet. That was uh, all the Texans are going to get guns at, at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. People are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So what panels have you been going to? You probably got some. <laughs> what, what's okay? Let's narrow it down. What's the most interesting thing you've seen so far? Um, so far, so far. Um, so I've been to just a couple of panels. That's why I made that face. Oh, okay. I've been partying more um, this year than I did last year, yeah. um, which I still find like just as valuable. Um, but so the two panels that I did go to were, were just again like local people who were on the panel. Um, John John Eric's panel, who's uh, my co-founder at Conjuncture. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's Dixie Valley, run for the hills, and uh, he was uh, School Bowl was on the panel. Kaiser Paul was on the panel. Uh, Penelope Chung from Raising Careers. Um, the panel was really interesting. It was really engaging. Um, it was uh, it was like Sunday morning, and so it was hard for a lot of people to get to. You would think, but the, the room was packed, so it was really? good. Yeah, it was really engaging. Um, they're just talking about um, you know where just kind of the pros and cons of starting your, your startup in either in the valley or in other cities like you know like Austin uh, Penelope's from Madison Wisconsin that's what she's doing her startup so it's like you know what, what are the what are the good things for doing you know a startup in the valley and you know what are, what are the bad things and kind of the same for places like Austin as well right, right. what yeah. was the verdict um, we think it's just kind of you just need to go wherever like you should be. So if you require like you know millions of dollars in funding, you probably should be you know just down the street from Sand Hill Road. Otherwise, if you need to like lay low and just kind of be scrappy for a little while, then places like Madison or Austin are, are great for that. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Yeah. So last time we talked, uh, you were—I think you were kind of just kicking off the, uh, the the conjunctor thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's been been really successful since then, from the sound test anyway. So yeah. what, what's what's been the progression? How have you changed since then? So um, we, we really started talking about conjuncture and doing all that um, last year at South by, um, actually. And so just between then and, and last July. Um, was when in July we were, it was just like building up community like talking about it um, asking if people actually wanted that um, so by July we had the keys to the space um, over in East Austin um, and since then it's just been like it's just kind of blown up I think uh, it was something that, that Austin was kind of needing for a while um, and, and people had even tried to, to start doing it before um, I know Worley for a couple years before like back in like 05 was kind of like surveying and doing Kind of the same kind of thing that we were doing with like just taking a poll and seeing like you know, what people were thinking about it and who, who would be on board with, with, with helping out. Um, so you know it's cool that it, even back then like it was something that the people like you know were considering and promoting. But right. um, yeah, I know it's been great. It's been great so far. Uh, we've had a lot of visitors over over the past week. Um, we had a, a meetup. And Matt, Matt was there. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Matt Mullen right. from Northwest dropped by and. Uh, you know, he's from Houston, so it's like, uh, the connection's like there, but, um, yeah, he's all by, and we had, we had free barbecue from Rudy's for everyone, and they just got to hang out and see the space, so, you know, it's just like trying to be a place where, where people can come in and, and just work, whether they be, like, from Austin or if they live, you know, outside of Austin and are just right. involved in the tech industry and, you know, just are traveling through, so, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, uh, let's see. I said something else, and I know it's completely escaped my mind. <laughs> oh well. Nice little more. <laughs> I, I, no, that that was actually why I missed the the head for the hills. Oh yeah. Because I had been getting up at uh, like six and then okay. going to bed at like two. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it was not sustainable. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's really bad. I think everyone's everyone's trying to like get it all in, cram everything in. Yeah. You know, there's today and then tomorrow, and uh, and the conference ends, and so. Uh, you know, everyone's just kind of like power through it, just a couple yeah. more days of the marathon. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking around for those, those Red Bull PR <laughs> right? Yeah, at yeah. the Facebook party, they were just doling out, uh, doling and out. They, and they use the product, you can tell. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely, energetic. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> they're like, do you want a Red Bull? I'm like, no, not yet. Hold on. It's like, I haven't even had dinner yet. Like, calm right. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I was going to tell you, we've got a couple of co-working spaces in Dallas now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've got uh, Cohabitat. Cohabitat, yeah, I totally know. I saw all the guys last night on Facebook. And then the big in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which has kind of been there for a little while, but it seems like it's getting a little bit more people right, right. out there. So, uh, you know, what, what advice would you have for, for those that are kind of just starting out? Um, I think just get really involved in the community, and it's kind of, that applies to, like, two people, right? So it's, um, there's a community of, you know, just, like, people who are doing co-working already and who right. started up uh, co-working spaces across the world. So get really involved in, like, you know, the advice that they have to offer, because um, you know, they're totally willing to kind of... Um, lend insight onto like you know their experiences and what they've done and the, the trials that they had to go through. Um, so definitely tap into that. But I think more importantly, um, just tap into the community that you have like, where you're trying to build a co-working space because you know uh, we couldn't have done it if we hadn't asked anyone. We, it's not a thing that we could have just built and then said, okay, like here it is. Like you know, everyone like can come in now. Um, we had we had to really like take note of whether that was something that people wanted. Um, right. Like I said, you know, Worley he tried to do it a couple years ago. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, um, we, we just, you know, in our experience, like, we just use, we use Twitter a lot. Um, we, we literally sent out a survey to everyone that, that we knew. Um, we, you know, chatted with people over emails and, you know, face-to-face and, and networking and kind of networking events. So, um, yeah, just kidding. Just, Get a firm grasp and just get to know all those people because I mean, ultimately, those are the people that are going to be in the space and cool. kind of make up that that micro community. So right on, yeah, right on. Good advice. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, anything else for you want to say before you get out here? Um, just don't sleep the next couple days. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> don't. Just don't. Stay up. All right. Casual parties tonight. So oh yeah, that's right. Cool, yeah. So, there's a lot of parties tonight. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of stuff and uh, it was a media temple party tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, the closing party. Yeah, so. so yeah, just, just a couple more nights of partying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, Sweet. man. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Yeah, see you around. Yeah.